I know of a magical place that is on four acres. This kingdom has goat yoga, a petting zoo, and they like to party. Birthday party, that is. Hi, I'm Susan Cook of the American Dream Realty and your host for Explore My Town, Valdosta. Welcome to Fifth Day Farms. My town is your town. Let's explore it together. I'm here with Janet and Steve Hendley at their farm in, called Fifth Day Farm. Janet and Steve, thank you so much for having me today. Thank you for coming. Can you tell me a little bit about your um, vision, how you got started with this uh, petting zoo? It, it was really an accident. Um, Janet and I met uh, about seven years ago, and uh, she was living on her father's place over in Thomas County. She had 11 chickens. Um, as our relationship grew, we, I knew I had to get her a place for her chicken, so I built her a chicken pen here. So when she moved over here to Lowndes County, brought her 11 chickens. We grew from 11 chickens to, uh, we had 40 chicks that before we even got over here, because uh, she bought some from a hatchery. And uh, the 40 chickens grew to ducks, grew to goats, pigs. Before we knew it, we had a menagerie of animals. So people would stop and say, can we look at your animals? And we'd say, sure, yeah, come on. And it was just a backyard thing. Um, and then um, it finally got so big where people were saying, hey, you need, you need to have a petting zoo. And I said, no, nah, we're not a petting zoo. No, we just got a bunch of animals. But it turned into a petting zoo. And uh, in 2018, we uh, uh, actually opened for the first time in the October of 2018. Uh, we had our first open farm days and it's been wide open ever since. Wow. So how long? 2018, right? Right. So, we're so three years. This is our third fall. Third fall. So yeah. how many visitors do you think you have on a weekend, let's say? Well, it depends on the time of the year. Uh, we probably had, we may have had 500 to 1,000 last weekend. I don't know. It was full. We had, it was greater than I'd ever expected. Mm. Um, today, we probably had uh, several hundred come through. Um, obviously not all at one time. Right, uh, right. But uh, we, it's, it stays pretty busy in the fall. Now in the summer when it's hot, we may have 25 or 30 come through on a weekend. Right. So it's, it's a lot slower in the fall. Yeah. I mean in the, in the summer. So what's your vision for the fifth day farms in the future? Janet, what's your vision, girl? Tell them. More animals. <laughs> More, more fencing and more animals. Yeah, more fencing, more animals. Uh, she has some plans that she'd like to do. We're, we're hoping that maybe can, they can come true. Um, it's uh, it just keeps us so busy. We stay real busy. And you've retired now, Steve, haven't you? I well, no. <laughs> <laughs> he I works for us I, now. I worked for thirty he years works for with the goats the, now. I worked for thirty years with the company, and I left there. Yeah, I am six. I'm I'm retirement age. Uh, but uh, I haven't retired. I work harder now than I did the past 20 years. Right. So, uh, but I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, it brings a lot this. of joy to the community too. Right. I would rather do this than what I was doing. And yeah. uh, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, again, thank you. And uh, I'm going to go around and pet some animals. All right. Enjoy. Have fun. Thanks for coming out. Uh-huh. So tell me about these babies, Janet. These babies are from Savannah, Georgia, and they were just born Monday. This, this is my mom's a good that's catch pumpkin up. and that's spice girl oh, this is hazel oh. and that's meg and this one doesn't have a name yet oh my goodness all right you're gonna, you're gonna be gentle right right huh <laughs> you did it man. As someone who serves our community, I know it's vital to support our local businesses. I've partnered with my town to do just that, spread awareness and support local businesses. Won't you join me? Send me a chat and we can discuss or explore your business.